Let's discuss the theorem and its proof. The statement of the theorem is the angles opposite to two equal sides of a triangle are equal. Here we have triangle ABC in which AB is equal to AC and we have to prove that angle ABC, that means this angle, is equal to angle ACB. There is an easy method of recognizing the side opposite to the given angle. The side opposite to the angle of a triangle is the side which is not an arm of the angle under consideration. So if we take angle B, then AC is not the arm of angle B. So AC is the opposite side to angle B. Similarly, if we consider angle C, AB is the side which is not an arm of angle C. So AB is the opposite side to angle C. So here we have to prove that angle B is equal to angle C and we will make use of congruency. But why? Because there is only one triangle here. To prove these two angles as equal, if we can represent them as parts of two triangles and then we can prove the triangles as congruent, then by CPCT we can say that these angles are equal. But how should we proceed? Let's think of creating two triangles as the first step. Let's perform a construction. Let's draw AD. Now in triangles ABD and ACD, we will have AB is equal to AC given. AD is the common side, so it is the side of triangle ABD also and triangle ACD also. According to SAS rule, we need the included angle and included angle for the two sides here can be this angle that is angle BAD and this angle that is angle BCD. Are they equal? That means is this angle equal to this angle? How do we know? These two angles that means this angle and this angle can be made equal if we construct AD as the angle bisector of angle BAC. This is our way of making sure that angle BAD and angle CAD are equal. So for the application of SAS rule here, AD should be our angle bisector so I'm drawing AD now as the angle bisector of angle BAC. So this will be point D and these two angles will be equal. So here we have to prove that angle B is equal to angle C and our construction is draw AD as angle bisector of angle BAC. Consider triangles ABD and ACD. In these two triangles, we have AB is equal to AC given arm AD of triangle ABD is equal to arm AD of triangle ACD as these are common and also angle BAD is equal to angle CAD because AD is angle bisector therefore triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ACD by SAS rule of congruency and this implies by CPCT angle B is equal to angle C and this is what we had to prove in this theorem. 
Let's summarize what we have learned from this proof. We have learned to apply SAS rule to prove theorems. We learned the role of construction in proofs and here we drew a angle bisector so that we can apply SAS rule of congruency.